Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with American Salon Magazine and Cassandra McLaughlin. So we, uh, we have something cool that we're doing tomorrow. We're at Premier Beauty Show and uh, in Orlando, Florida. American Salon hooked us up with this interview. So tomorrow we're actually sitting on a panel for American Salon yes. and we're going to talk some social. Yes. So the reason that Cassandra is here is that we, you have created not only a successful salon business that you have, but also you are successful on social media. So let's talk about um, social media as a business for a little bit, right? So right. what do you? What is your main platform that you use? Definitely Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, I think as far as hairdressing goes, having something that's photo driven, yeah. and the way it connects people, I think it's it's probably the most viable way to generate connections and business in your salon. Awesome. Yeah. And I talked to you last year, and we were talking about how to get that perfect yes. um, Instagram shot, right? So um, I think with the amount of filters on Instagram now, mm -hmm. it's it's a little bit easier. Yeah. But um, so what would you say with the new movement with Instagram and video and all that stuff? How have you kind of worked your way into that world? Well, I think it's important from the beginning to start with like super solid raw material. So I think where I'm seeing a lot of transition is people are actually getting really into photography yeah. versus just snapping pictures maybe um, by the front window, which is what we've done for a really long time. That right. sunlight is literally the best. <laughs> um, but we've integrated some lighting systems, some backdrops, maybe make them a little bit more... Um, polished okay. and kind of still creating a look with your work but it's letting the work really stand out versus getting too involved with like background and stuff right um and i also think it's really important to just be consistent with it like super duper consistent with your work and your posting and um and when you say consistent are you talking about consistency within how often you post or consistency within the way it looks? Both. Okay. I think I think how often you post, especially when you're growing, is super important because it's almost like you need to be in everyone's face. It's like a marketing campaign, truthfully. Yeah. You know, it's it's not like you put one ad one time at one o'clock in the morning and then you expect everyone to rush into your salon. You really have to stay in in everyone's face in a yeah. way. And I think a consistent presence on posting, even if it's deleting and reposting, deleting and reposting. I mean it's That's the new thing I found yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. It's great because you also, you gain followers. Yes. People that haven't really seen your work. Yes. And the beauty about like YouTube, like you can't delete a video because right. you lose the views and all right. that. On Instagram, like who cares? Delete You're not it, starting over. Repost it. Right. And new people are going to see it. Yes. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. I like well, that. another thing too, that's really great because we've got new stylists starting and sometimes they don't have as much, um, a bigger, as big of a portfolio to choose from. Okay. I mean, currently I have 26,000 pictures on my phone, so I can go back a few months if I need right. something. Yeah. Um, but deleting, reposting, or just creating different layouts of, of the same work, it just gives you more opportunity to have to be present so right. that's a great thing for that um, and then as far as like the videos and things I really think where Instagram has kind of evolved our industry is people want to know the truth yeah they want to know what's happening behind the chair and I think utilizing videos and actually showing real life placement process and giving legitimate information yeah I think is has really been um, Something that me and my salon team have really focused on is just like the element of sharing and sharing in a very open and truthful way. That's I mean, if it's cool. taken nine hours, we're going to say it takes nine hours. Yeah. Like, not everybody wants to hear that. You know, clients want to come in and be like, I'm going to be platinum blonde from Jet Black. I have four hours and I have $150. Right. <laughs> and then the stylist is like, okay. Yeah. Like, and right. then it's just orange. And yeah, yeah. And then you stress yourself yeah. out, give yourself an ulcer, sweat the whole time. Right. Like, it's, yeah. It's super hard. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then she's never coming back. No. Ever. And then so, she'll tell all her friends. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about successful salon business. So you, you're you growing. Yes. You're hiring. Yes. Um, so let's talk about that. So because I know there's a lot of new stylists out yes. there that are probably wanting jobs. You have a successful place. What do you look for? What's your plan with that? Well, our process is kind of like an interview process and then a shadowing process. And I would say the biggest thing that we look for as a salon team, even beyond a resume, is the right fit. Right. Someone who comes in, works with the team, and it just clicks into place. Because without a strong team, I think a salon will just flounder and fall. And I feel like what I hear from other stylists, it's like, I want to do this, but I can't. And right. there, there's those limitations. So I think it's, um, John Maxwell calls it the law of the lid. It's like finding that salon home that has the lid that you want to work under. Yeah. And I think finding the team that you fit in 
and not trying to force something. Just because something looks good from the outside and it doesn't mean good or bad on either side, but but no matter what, finding that right fit, yeah. no matter where it is. Yep. Yeah. That's such a good call. Yeah. So tell me, so you're working on getting, so you're growing the salon, you have the Instagram thing. Um, what else can people look for with you, you know, coming up in the future? Do you have, so I know that you're here this weekend. Yes. yes. You're at a booth. Yes. Doing some education. Me and, and uh, Dominique at Lemon Tree, one of my dear friends. And we actually is got she to, here. She's here. Yes. Why is she not here? I know. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. There you go. You. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, right? You get I, that shout out. I know. See what Instagram can do. Um, she, um, her and I are actually working together. We worked together at the Framar booth and we did um, a color model where we focus on balayage and foiling and um, really just kind of shared exactly what we do behind the chair. Okay. And that's really what we're looking to do kind of in the future is just share a little bit of salon reality. Yeah. And, and work together. Like, it's so important. I feel like there's so many opportunities where someone can elevate themselves and do things on their own, but it's so much more joyful and exciting and creative when you've got a team or partners behind you and awesome. I think having that connection it just makes everyone do better and do yeah. more so you push each other yeah absolutely right. absolutely, awesome. absolutely yeah well it's always uh, amazing talking with you. you congrats on all your success thank and, you so and, uh, much good luck in the future with everything thank you um, if you guys are not following Cassandra for some reason <laughs> for some reason what is it Cassandra <laughs> Cassandra Platinum Cassandra Platinum uh, on Instagram and at and Platinum Salon Tampa and at yes yeah, so, salon, and follow at American Salon yes. also follow us at Free Salon Education thank you to American Salon for letting us hang out thank have this you. great interview with you and thank you so much for sitting down thank you so much for having me Appreciate thank you so much it. American Salon thank you guys we'll see you on the next video yes.